Good morning, everybody. Today's project, we're gonna be installing drops. So we've been getting bundles of them ready and along with a whole pile in boxes. So that's our today's project. We'll get a bunch of videos out, but first uh, we're gonna go to lake up the snowmobiles and get them out of here. So we'll uh, go get them prepped. <coughs>
we were out here running the last couple of days tubing and uh, as you can see we got tubing up behind us here but uh, we ran out and I think we're about probably two rolls of tubing short of finishing this main line and we still got another main line to go along with a bunch of other stuff so I guess we'll have to get some more tubing but uh hey who I think I see if I could show you see how well this works now we're installing new drops well, I got brand new tubing brand new everything so it works pretty easy so I try to get about four to six inches up the line from the tree itself and the reason being that new tubing has a tendency over its first year after being installed and I don't care whose tubing it is I think they all do it they tend to stretch so if I put it here on the tree this year you know by the time I finish stretching it, it the drop may end up down here somewhere so at least it won't be too far away um, and for that reason I always install the black tees on the uphill side of the tree because we learned the hard way the first year we were doing this as so many of us have often done that they stretch and next thing you know if you put that on the downhill side of the tree next thing you know it's two three four feet away from the tree it was supposed to have been on now part of that was because we were new to run in tubing and so we didn't run it right and the other part of that was they were drops were put on the downhill side so to solve solve that problem we've simply just gone to putting them on the uphill side exceptions being these end ones as you can see they uh, will go on the downhill side where it's easy to get to on the tubing instead of trying to bend the T around the tree itself and that just makes a mess an absolute mess so we don't do that anymore ah, we'll uh, keep going here and I'll show you what we're doing Here's a little trick I want to show you so we ran a run of one, two, three trees down into the main line yesterday. This will go over here for a drop somewhere, or for the saddle. And then we had that one lonely little tree over there that all the other trees are all taken, going to other trees, other lines. And we didn't want um, to run that one lonely little red maple in by itself because experience has showed us that when those die off then we have a hole in our pipe that we now have to take the saddle out and plug up somehow so I came up with this idea last year where when I'm close to another lateral line such as this one I'll take that run it in using the slide fitting so it holds it on the pipe nice and tight so there's no sags on, up on that upper end and then I'll come down here and I'll put a T in and it'll just come back down here and go to the same saddle. So this technically has four trees on this little line. Now, out here at the end of the lines, we use these red T's. One end is plugged, one end is open. So when we're out here doing it, we try to make sure the open end obviously is down the hill or we don't get any sap out of this tree. And so that's how we put them in. And hopefully we get them all installed correctly or elsewise we come back out here and fix it. And sometimes we get out here and we don't catch them until we pull taps at the end of the season. And then we learn that, yeah, this was flipped around backwards. It was going the wrong way. And so to help eliminate that problem, I always make sure that we run the tubing around the right-hand side of the tree, come back around and hook. And then... I always get right hand tees so that the right hand side of it's always plugged so that me or any of the rest of the crew knows that we come out here, it goes in this way, the barb sticks out, which means the desk pointing down the hill and the flow is correct. If everything's right. Let's see if we can find some more for you as a show.